going on guys? It's Reese. How you guys doing today? And we are back with another video. I'm with the guy, Myth the Legend, Michael Turner. Today's video I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. We're going to be doing branded versus unbranded. If you guys do enjoy, smash the like button. And I want to say a massive, massive thank you. We just hit 500 subscribers. We're halfway to 1k. I want to thank you guys so much for the support. It's going to be a special video coming out soon after this one. I so know be what ready. it is. Further ado, let's get in the video. Let's do it. All right, so guys, the first one we have got is Coke versus the Audi or the unbranded version. I've actually, Michael's actually tried this version and said it's actually it. decent. It's actually better, in my opinion. How much was that one? That was a pound. This was a pound, but, it's a pound. A, but technically it's a smaller bottle. It's a bottle. smaller bottle, and this was 39p. 31p. 31p. No, it's 39p. Okay, 39p. It was something like 39p. 39p. This one's pretty tight. <laughs> no, thank you. I knew it was coming. I can't. Nice. Yeah, you drink that. It's because yeah. it spilled over it. I think it tastes nice. So. It's less sugary. You know what? That's not bad, you know. It's less sugary. I can see what you mean. That is, you can definitely taste like it's unbranded. It's not sugar. bad, you know. Like, it's it's, it's actually not, not bad. bad you know? But that's the thing. For the amount you pay for that, like 39p for how much? Two liters. You can buy two or three bottles of that for the same price as that. This is not an ad, uh, by the way, by Coke. No, this is not an ad. It's just more sugary. Is it more like fizzy? No, it's, it's, it's about the same fizz, but for me though, it comes to the basis of sugar. I can taste less sugar in that than that, and when I look in a drink, I'd rather less sugar. I can taste the, that has like a little aftertaste. I can taste the difference. This has like... You can taste the difference of that one would be more expensive. There is a difference, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we blindfolded both of us, I can tell. If you blindfolded both of us and was like, taste this one, taste that one, I'd be like, that one's definitely more expensive than that one. If well, I was rating this one, well, I'd rate it a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, how much are you doing this? A nine out of ten. A nine out of ten? Yeah. I would give, because Coke's always legendary, it's got to be well, a I'm nine. I'm being honest. This one, obviously, it's good, but it can't be Coke. Yeah. But I'll give an 8.5, it's, yeah, it's decent. It's decent. not bad, you It's know. decent, you know If I mean? was like, you know what, I'm, I'm budgeting, I'd go for I'd that. I'd go for that one. I'd go for if, that If one. I was like, I'm not budgeting, I would probably would go for that one. <laughs> right, so we have got the real Pringles. We got the, the green flavour. Apparently that's Michael's favourite. I'm the Pringle Whisperer. But yeah, that's the non-branded one. Let me know in the comments what flavour is your favourite flavour of Pringles. Looking through the Pringles, we've got Tesco £1.49. And that's just for the smaller tub. How much was the bigger one? The bigger two, tub, which was only like that much bigger. It's like, yeah, it's like £2.50, but obviously at Audi, you're looking at 79p. 79p for that. I mean, they were. To be fair, right? I'm the R rate. I would, you could get how many of these can you get for the price of that? Three. Three of these for the price of that. About that. And it's pretty. That's a little bit smaller. These, but for this size, you you could get two of them. I think Pringles are overpriced. I think Pringles are always overpriced. Like I think, yeah, like you're paying for the brand, as I said before. Like you're paying for the brand of Pringles, but like, like a pound more. Just in, my, for that. In, in my opinion. This is the only one out of anyone we've tried that I can actually see myself yeah. even, even budgeting. Yeah. Even budgeting, I would still pay for these. Because that is a controversial topic. But if you say ready salted, I don't like it. I'm going to try these out and you're going to try those ones out. Pringles is goat. I don't care what you say. Oh, fam. Nothing can beat Pringles, man. They don't taste like these, do they? They got less, like, so oniony. So oniony. So 90% onion, 10% mm. sour cream. Oh, that's a house pack. Mmm. That's mm. it. Let me try these. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I can see what you mean. <laughs> I feel like I'm tasting onion. Oh, it's literally just onion. Like, it's onion crisps. I wouldn't say it's bad. I would actually pick, like, if I was budgeting, I would take these. Those just taste like ass. Do you know what? I don't definitely think they're more, they got more like salt on them. It even says on the tube, perfect flavour. That one doesn't say perfect flavour, that's what. I would give these at least a 7.5. You're gonna kill me, but I'm at it, they are bad. They're just less flavourful than those ones. Do you know what I give them? Three out of 10. A three out of, fuck me. Yeah. To be fair, your face was awful. I would rate them, they're, they're a 10. Oh, mate, these Bro, are like you these are like a 14 out of 10. I could eat a whole Pringles pot. I don't know if it's just me, but I could, mm. eat, I could eat a whole Pringles pot, like mm. dead ass straight up. So, we've got the original Jaffa Cakes. <laughs> and we've got the non 
doesn't even come in a box. It doesn't even come in a box. It doesn't. They call, they're called Jaffa Gates still, so I guess, yeah. Yep, yeah, that is what I thought Jaffa Gates tastes like. So hard, they're so solid. They're not even in the fridge. Mm. That one, you're kind of being. Like, they're nice, but they're just so. Like, mm, it it well. might be the thing in the middle. Oh, yeah, that is. Rock solid. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm putting so much pressure and I'm just. Oh, I don't even have to put pressure and it just squishes. <laughs> that is rock solid. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. Yeah, I mean, it's just so solid. <laughs> I'm eating a crisp. <laughs> I feel like I'm eating a crisp. The nature is like. Do you know what it seems like? If you leave Jaffa cakes out for like a day, the yeah. bottom feels like this one. they like, like, what's it called? It's gone stale. I think they've got a little bit more flavour. That gives you a kick and a little bit more. I'm tasting these actually. I'll give these an eight. I'm not eight and a half. I'm not 100 percent on Jaffa cakes. Like I can eat a few, but I can't yeah, eat a you lot. Can't eat a I'm lot. just like really sickly. I would give these like a five. They're like a six to me. Because they're too. It's not. I, I'm, I don't want. I, if if they were a cake, I don't want to be. If they were the same years. consistency as these, I'd give them like an eight. Like, the price for the Jaffa cakes of the branded versus unbranded okay. is right now. Tesco stands at one pound, and Audi only 22 p. 22 p. So you could buy, you could, they, are these 10 in here? They're 12. 12. You get more in here for the price you of You could buy like four packs of those for the same price as one of these. That just shows that you're paying for the brand. You're paying for the name. You're literally paying for but the name. One more until we go to a different location. Mm. What is it, Michael? Custom creams. No, they're not custom creams. What are they? You know what they are. <laughs> Bourbon! Bourbon! <laughs> we got now some bourbons, these are the real ones, obviously. They're Tesco versions, but we couldn't find any actual versions. They're the Audi version, the non branded Belmont. Belmont. Right, here we go. Oh, you got those out right? Does it actually say bourbon on it? So we both have bourbons, these are the, obviously. This one's light, that's dark, that's like a dark, like dark chocolate, that's yeah. more of a lighter colour. These don't got bad. Are they very similar to the originals? These are good. Mm. These are very good. These have got fat reduced cocoa powder. Fat reduced? Trying to put me on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to secretly put you on a diet without telling you. It's not on the front. They are good, man. Mm. They are. They are something different. Even these have got fat reduced cocoa. It's like they're secretly trying to put us on a diet in biscuits now without telling you. They're a little bit more dark. Like, I feel like there's dark, a little bit more dark chocolate into it. Not dark chocolate, but the, mm. I don't know. The chocolate feels a little bit more darker than those. Mm. I've had these before. These aren't bad, but I wouldn't say they're better than them. They're, they're close. These are a little bit better than those, but consistency-wise, they're the exact same. In Tesco, they're 45p. Audi, they're 22p. These are 22p, guys, and they're a pound. So the difference is quite big. Not bad, you know. If you want to, you can get how many of these? Three? three, oh, three like three of them? Oh, no, no, Price no. The Bourbons. The Bourbons in Tesco were 45p. Oh, 45p and 22p, okay, so you get like, you can get two, two of these for the price of them pretty much. Which technically is about the same amount, because they're split in halves anyway, but yeah, that's you know, true. you'd get more from them. You get slightly more. Yeah, what would you rate them? They're nice, classic, 8.5 out of 10. I'll give it an 8 for me. I think these actually surprised me. 7.5 out of 10 for me. I'll give them a 7. I'll they're give them a decent. 7. They're, they're decent. They're not bad. They're actually, I would pick them over these. Other than the fact they can take that stupid vegetarian sticker off it, other than that, I'd buy them again. <laughs> Right, so guys, we're back and uh, we've got some cooked food real quick. We've got pizza and we've got some mozzarella sticks you can see right there. Let's have a little try. Mmm. It's not bad, you know. Mm hmm That's not bad. Not good. The tomato is a bit dry for me. Everything else tastes good. I would have liked more pepperoni. Other than that, it's pretty tender. They look very, very similar. They look so similar. Oh, straight away. Straight away, tomato sauce is so much better on this. Yeah, now I see a difference. Mm -hmm. Now I've tasted this, this tomato sauce is so Tomato's a little bit dry. But this one's got better cheese, better mm. tomato, like, tomato at the bottom. 
Pepperoni tastes better as well. I'll put the price up now for you. So these are the non-branded. These are the branded. The, the branded, as you can tell. The branded, branded Tesco's, obviously. You can kind of tell by the, the packaging. A little bit. But yeah, mm. the price is quite a big difference, so. The branded ones, I'd give a good 9, 9.5, honestly. Yeah, I'd give, yeah, I'd give a 9.5 on that. That, I would give maybe an, an 8. eight. 7.5, maybe an 8. The tomatoes are really dry. It's, dr it's like very dry, and I think, yeah. yeah. I just The cheese isn't that good compared to that. Yeah, um, 100%. Agree. It's not bad for the price. I think there's actually a big difference in price, actually. There is. I think these are quite a lot cheaper what? than those. They're not bad. They're not bad. I, I would eat them. I'd eat them. You know? Straight up, I'd eat them. I wouldn't say I wouldn't eat them. I would enjoy them more than them. Yeah, obviously, but true. These are the non-branded. These are the branded. The branded, so we've got Tesco's right. and Little. This oh, Audi. Audi. The box gives me like K KFC vibes. There is a significant look color difference. difference. Did you see these ones are like brighter. They're like yellowy brown, and then those ones are just like brown brown. Yeah, these have got some seasoning. On Very them. green. Very seasoning. I'm it's gonna like, try the non-branded first. I'll, I'll try the brand. I don't really try mozzarella sticks much, so um, I'm gonna see how they taste. Mm. No, bit cold. These ones are very heavily seasoned, which is nice. Yeah, these aren't very seasoned. You can tell there's like no seasoning on them. They look like they're caked in seasoning. Um, let me try the one. Let me try the uh, the non-brand or the branded. You can probably taste the difference straight away. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Try them and tell me. The, the literally in the middle, there's nothing. This you can see. There's actually cheese inside. That one's just got a hole with no cheese. So I prefer the cheese on these ones. Really? But the outside of these ones. Do you want a bit of mix of both, you know? So I'd mix them both. I'm not a big fan of cheese, so I can't really do much. Like, I can't really rank it really, really high. I'd give those like a, a, a six and a half. Mm -hmm. I'd give them about a five. They're not bad. I'd, I'm not saying they're, they're, they're bad. They're all right. They're decent. I'd give the branded ones a solid, like, nine out of ten. Honestly, if the cheese was a bit nicer, in my opinion, it would be 10. Yeah, but those ones I'll give a 7 or 7. Right, so guys, we're going to give you the price for these. These are around like two point, like 220, maybe 230, maybe 240. I don't know, but I'll put it on the screen right here. The non-branded was 149. Around about that area, we'll put that on this side as well. Right but it was around side. about the 149, 150 range. But yeah, let's get on to trying them and see how they taste. Booyaka shaka. We're back with the bacon. Actual so, bacon. I wanna I wanna show you guys and get you guys to guess which one the branded is and which one's the non-branded. Have a guess. Let me know. Because it is kind of obvious. Um yeah. one kind of broke a lot easier. So yeah, that one's the like thicker bacon. So maybe yeah, yeah. it like That's probably why. Maybe it stayed what? together a little bit more. Which non-branded brand. I know which one's which. Oh fam. Mmm. That's not bad though. Fam, that's the best bacon I've ever had. That bacon has so much flavour. Damn, thicker bacon's actually the way to go now. I don't care. Oh, is this? Very nice. This is like gammon. This tastes a bit like gammon. This one's without the me. without the thingy. This one has very much surprised me though. Mm -hmm. Low key. Me gusta. Me gusta. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, that's gonna be a different different story. But actually, if you gave me blindfolded, get into the big bit. Get into the big bit. Mm, that one's better. That one's got more depth to it. It gives you a lot more flavour, like in like in steak. It gives you like that. That one's got proper gammon vibes. So good though. Mmm. Got a lot more like to it, you know. Mm. It gives you the kick. This just kind of feels like eating plastic. I rate that one. I liked them both. Genuinely, I actually liked them both. I like gammon a lot, so that's well, why I liked it. I would rate the thicker bacon like a 9.8. Mm. Bro, the first bite I had of that bacon was heavenly. I'd rate. The, the non-branded, I would give about maybe a 7. I'd one bad. The branded one a 10. That one was nice. Gammon vibe. I said a 9.8 because it's a little bit of like, there is still a little bit of crisp you can do it, but it's so good. i put a 10. The non-branded a 9.8. 9.5. It wasn't bad. I think it needs like a bit it. more depth to it, a little bit more flavor I to think it. It's perfect, honestly. Mm. Both of them were mm -hmm. very, very good. I'd eat either of them. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button. And again, thank you so much, guys, for 500 subscribers. Pretty um, big, you know. 
it's pretty mad. I've got something coming in the works for you lot. I know it's going to be it very is. interesting. I've done something similar in the past than before. So if you're an OG, you're kind of if you're about idea. 100 subscribers, you're around then. Uh, that's the only hint I'm giving you. It's better around that. If you're around 100 subscribers, you'll kind of have an idea. If not, you will not have a clue. No. Thank you, Michael, so, for coming in. No worries, man. Appreciate that, As brother. always. As always. Good stuff, brother. If you want to go and check out Michael's socials, a link will be down in the description. As always, we are TikToks. dropping a video on my page, on yep. my YouTube, straight after this. So make yep. sure if you want to, go from this one be some, straight to my some one. Some juicy questions that might get some, banned from YouTube. Some so you very, want to go and... very interesting questions that YouTube might give me strikes for. But yeah. we do what we do for the people. For the people. So, so yeah, go and check them out. If you haven't already, we're going to be doing loads more videos soon. Yeah. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Stay safe and peace. Peace. I hit girl like come to the telly Hit me on the phone, you could run to the celly Just walked in while they looking at me though Girl, you the bond, could we lay like Frito I got my jacket for you if you a taco Swag hole, probably getting tail like a tadpole First time I seen her, man, she waved like a flagpole She tried fuck fame, but that shit is for asshole